Alright guys, so we're going to be heading out to the garage and I'm going to be doing a video and kind of just talking while I condition my glove. I'm going to show you guys how I condition my gloves. There's a lot of different ways, a lot of different methods I guess. A lot of different company like or brand uh, conditioner you can use. I have a couple different things. There's my little kitten, Peanut. I rescued her. But uh, yeah, got this one. So like a glove, I just want to explain this while I'm in here quick. That's why I'm starting right here. A glove like this, that doesn't really have much use on it. Um, it doesn't really need conditioning, uh, it doesn't need oil, it's just going to kind of, it's not going to do anything when it's like this. It might help break it in a little bit, but I mean, this glove doesn't need any. A glove like this uh, does, and I'll tell you guys, I'll kind of explain how much I used it this season, when to condition a glove, how much use you need on a glove to condition it, and stuff like that. And uh, so let's head out to the garage here, and because uh, that's where my other gloves are that need it, because I have a couple more. But you guys do know, I broke my leg this summer, so I didn't. I'm st I still have to wear a tight, tight uh, sock all the way up it. I'm barely walking. <laughs> um, you can see how like how swollen the whole leg is still. You can see that like you can see the whole area right there. So uh, um, I couldn't use my gloves too much this this summer. I broke my leg June first. Baseball season was literally May through like August. So there went my baseball season. But there's always next year. <sighs> but uh, yeah, let's hit the garage. All right, guys. So out here in the garage now. Uh, this is just I'm just doing it here for the lighting. Usually I'll just do this wherever I'm at, like on the couch or something. We're in the garage. Nice light on truck in front of me, and I got a nice clean surface to do it for the video. And uh, so these are my gloves that need conditioning. Uh, we'll start up. You can see this one needs it pretty bad. It's pretty pretty dry. I don't think this thing's been conditioned in a long time. Uh, so the HK1787. Um, we have two types of conditioners here. Got Wilson glove conditioner, which I'm going to go ahead and use. Um, then we got the Primo glove butter, which I'll probably use for the uh, Pro Preferred. And then the Capera, and I'm going to use this for the uh, two Wilsons, and then we'll kind of see how it looks after that. So then we got the Capere. I use this a little bit. You can see it's it's actually getting kind of dry in there, actually really dry. You can't really tell on camera because of the color. But I'm breaking this glove in. I kind of actually want to use it. I'm starting to like it as it breaks in. And uh, actually, I'm starting to really enjoy it. It's really comfortable now. I used to hate this glove. <laughs> How weird. Um, but I've been throwing bullpens with that since I can slightly put pressure on my left foot. I've been throwing bullpens with that. I've thrown three. I want to say three. I haven't recorded any because it's not good yet. I, I can't go full. I'm about like 35, 40%. And uh, I used this one in some infield games before I broke my leg. Uh, I used this one in every other game before I broke my leg this year starting in like March or April it's a couple indoor games a lot of outdoor games and then this one I used in some softball so uh, they definitely need some conditioning uh, they've been sitting in a dirt, dirty dusty baseball bag uh, they, they just need it at the end of each season whether they get some use or a lot of use but if they get like no use like that blue capere like I showed you then you don't really need to do it obviously but uh, usually my gloves will see probably 50 games a season like this one would usually see about 50 games um, between baseball and softball, which is pretty good between amateur and then softball. Um, not sure how it's going to be when I start college, but probably a lot more. I'm going to need to get more gloves. Um, but this one used to see probably almost 100 games a season because of high school. I haven't conditioned this one since high school, so uh, yeah, bad. This one's never been conditioned, and uh, this one hasn't, I don't know how long it's been since this one's seen conditioner, but um, yeah, let's... I'll show you guys this one right here. Obviously the dad dude, you can see this thing is faded. Try to get some of the red back. It's it's getting kind of floppy, but I love it. I love my gloves floppy. If you've been an OG subscriber, you probably know that. So like I said, we're going to use Wilson on the Wilsons. And then we're going to use uh, Primo Glove Butter on those. I think the Primo Glove Butter is actually pretty, pretty funny looking. Yeah. It's a little bit different texture, but it's it's decent. And then I'll show you guys the Wilson. Yeah, that's that's a lot different look. Um, so we're gonna see. I used to. Oh yeah, this one smells way better too. I used to use Nakona glove conditioner. That's my favorite, but I ran out of it like last time I conditioned that glove. So in high school, and these are the ones I've had since then. Um, 
And then, by the way, I do have my eye on a couple gloves I'm looking to purchase here soon. Since I started work again, after, you know, I broke my leg, I couldn't buy anything. I had to just pay bills because I was out of work for three months, which sucked. But I'm back in work, and I have a couple gloves I have my eye on I'm about to buy here and um, break them in over the winter. Uh, I'll show you guys the process and uh, get ready for next year because next year is going to be good. Um, I'm lifting a lot, doing a lot of stuff like that, so uh, next year should be really good for videos and baseball and playing some football too. So uh, yeah, let's get right into conditioning. Um, I'm probably only going to show you one of the gloves as I condition it, and then I'll show you the final product of the other three. So the one that needs it the most, I think, um, well, I mean, that one probably needs it the most, but it's black. So I think I'm going to show you guys the conditioning on my Pro Preferred, and then show you the final product. And then this one was used a couple times this year, but I determined it didn't really need a conditioning yet, so we're not going to do that one. You don't really need too much either, just take something like, something like that, and then you kind of rub it in to where it needs it. It's kind of hard to do this where I have the GoPro set up. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to rub it in. And uh, this glove is, you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's its pretty dry. So I'm going to definitely take a little bit more than normal because this glove barely, I don't think, I don't know if this glove's ever been conditioned. Um, as you can see, I'm rubbing it in there in the pocket. It's getting dark. Sorry about the the lighting kind of sucks, but you'll see the finished product. And don't do like, unless it's like super bad, don't do the outside of the fingers. Because you have, you think, you, you condition a glove where it gets used. It doesn't really get used on the outside of the fingers. You can like, you know, use a little bit of leather conditioner or cleaner, but I really don't recommend it because then that's when the glove gets floppy. Um, I, I do it... I do it in the palm, in the inside of the fingers, inside of the web, top of the fingers, up here, like like right there, as you can see me rubbing it in there, uh, like inside the fingers like that, in the pocket, heel, basically anything inside, anything inside the glove. And then where your finger goes is a good spot because that spot will crack. This spot will crack really really quick and then you also want to get the lining of the glove so I'll get my phone light here so you guys can get an idea um, there's a little bit of cracking right there um, so we're gonna go ahead and condition in there like I said I just conditioned here you don't need a lot don't use too much of the glove will get really oily uh, like the outside of the web doesn't need it the outside of the fingers don't need it just really just in there as you can see where I started on the tops of the fingers and uh, go from there so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing it you guys can see as I do it and we'll go from there Inside the web, everything. You just, but remember, don't lather it too much. Just a little bit of conditioner. Unless the glove's really bad, then go ahead and then go ahead and give her the beans. But um, otherwise, I don't really recommend it. And there's people who use like toothbrushes and stuff, and I think that's overkill. Just use your, just. I, don't know, I think that's weird, honestly. It's good for like cleaning logos and stuff, like. But I really just think you just need to go like this the lacing up here you don't want that to get too brittle um, like Wilson's come from the factory <laughs> but yeah make sure you get up here really good where your finger goes because that spot is like unless you go finger in then make sure you get inside the finger stall but and I always just use kind of one finger it's easier to get into places <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> no but um in the finger stalls you I mean really wherever your hand touches or wherever you get used condition it so I mean that's pretty much gonna do it for this glove here I got the tops of the fingers everything like that got the heel as you can see everything's looking pretty dark yeah 
Sorry the lighting kind of sucks, guys. It's been a really gloomy day. But it got everywhere. It got inside here really good. I'll show you guys that. Yeah, you can see I got really good in there. So the petards is a really nice um, lining, and you don't want to ruin it. So, yeah, she's looking good. Got that one done. And then do, definitely don't go use the glove right away. Let it let it dry, you know, for probably, I don't know, a day before you actually go really use it, maybe half a day or whatever. But I'm going to move on to, uh, so this actually, even though it looks kind of bad, it works really good. I really liked it. Uh, it smells kind of strong, I guess, Primo Glove Butter. But it works good. I like it. I de definitely recommend it. But um, I think the best is Nakona Glove Conditioner. That, whoops. That comes in like the tube but um and another thing is I, i'd say like whatever brand glove you have like if you have wilson i'd say use wilson rawlings i'd probably say use the rawlings but that's just me that's just like me being picky i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and i'll catch up with you guys Alright, so we got this in condition. You can see it's kind of glowing right here. I conditioned the fingers, liner, and inside here. Kind of show you guys. Yeah, it's all shiny. More of a dark, deep black now. So that's pretty good. Like I said, don't need nothing crazy thick. Even though the outside of the fingers are wearing, it's not too light. It's not dry or anything. Uh, so like when you're done, you should maybe just like wipe your hands on it with like the access, or the excess uh, conditioner. But outside fingers aren't really needed unless they're really scun up or something. This glove only needs it right there and right in the pocket. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. I'm just going to use Wilson conditioner for this one too. Why not? So that's pretty good. Like I said, outside doesn't need, especially on a glove like this, that's pretty new. But you can see, got her in there looking pretty good. Got her right there and a little bit in here too. And then last up, this one's going to take a little bit more time as it is old. <laughs> so yeah, here's a good look at the leather. We'll use right here as a demonstration of before. So I'm going to go ahead and condition this one. Probably the full glove uh, might do the outside. I don't know. It's kind of bad so I think I might do the full thing catch you guys in just a second Alright, so the pocket's done on that. Everywhere is good. Top of the fingers are good. Heel's good. Um, move to the liner. Honestly, I might not even include any music in this. I might just let you guys hear like the good old sounds of conditioning the leather. I don't know. Some people might enjoy that. I don't know. Next time I'll make sure to do this video like outside when it's sunny. 
but for better lighting, but you know, this will do right. At least you kind of see how I do it. And like I said, the outside doesn't need crazy amounts, just light, 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 just to give it a little conditioning. Like see, even the fingers on this old glove are still shiny uh, once you get the dust off them. So just honestly, just like a light, light coat. But um, for the most part, I think that's pretty good. Oh yeah. Look at that leather. Oh yeah, it's coming back for sure. All right. So that's pretty much gonna do it guys for the video on how I condition my baseball gloves, just talking. A couple gloves I do have coming in the mail soon, but this channel is gonna turn more towards like, kind of my personal gloves and not really collecting gloves anymore. It's gonna be more like like actual base, baseball videos and um, I will be buying new gloves obviously, but when I actually use them, I'm not just gonna buy them to have gloves. Um, I'm gonna buy them the ones that I wanna use. And then give you guys updates on them, how I can use stuff like that. You know, um, what I think of them. So definitely like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. And uh, I, I really like the Wilson Glove Conditioner. Uh, it's good, but I think the Primo is even better, actually. I like that a lot. So definitely try them both. They're both really good products. I think they're, I think they're anywhere from like 8 to 10 bucks a piece. Same with the Nakona Conditioner. I think the Nakona might be like 10 or 12 but it's really worth it. So definitely get Conditioner if you don't have it, guys. It's worth it. It pro prolongs the life of the leather. Uh, if you just have cheaper gloves like gold gloves, it's just going to make them floppy. But if you have anything like newer, even so, it's still worth it because it may, prevents it from cracking. So even like a gold glove or whatever, I recommend it. But anything like under that, you don't really need to condition it. Just kind of whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.